so you're doing your lab and you're going to graph tonight and part of the graphing is to graph all day data okay so one of the first things you need to do is you need to go to the spreadsheet you were putting your stuff in at. so let me just show you real quick so here's the spreadsheet you were putting your stuff in on, okay and now you want to go to the bottom here all day data use use this okay so this is the data that we're going to actually put into our graph again where do you find this? Remember that this was from Planbook, so you're gonna to go to this link right here from today, and then you're going to go, you're gonna find this spreadsheet, and you're going to, this was what you entered, but don't worry about this, because I'm gonna take and I'm gonna give you your averages of each class from all day, okay? Now let's take our data and let's take it to the graphing sheet. Okay, so on your graph, you need to label flask one, flask two, flask three, and then we're gonna do circumference. Remember, we kinda did this in class, and this is in centimeters. Then we have flask one, flask two, flask three. We're gonna do foam height. Maybe we wanna add foam to this. Okay. And then I'm going to give a general label, each flask, circumference and height, and both were measured in centimeters, which means then over here, then I need to put down circumference in centimeters and height, sorry, I'm trying to write here, in centimeters. And then this is also the spot where you could write down your all-day data. Where do you find that? That's right, in the all-day data on the spreadsheet. So I will have this done after six hours gives the final data. So I will have this almost a five minutes after the bell rings today. Okay, friends? And your graph is due tomorrow. Okay? And don't forget to study for your quiz over the lab tomorrow.